the former head of the Oklahoma City field office of the FBI will take over the reins at the State Bureau of Investigation. This move comes after a six month investigation into employee concerns at the agency and the resignation of the now former director. But Fox 25's Phil Cross found out that the director's final move as leader of the agency may still create controversy. As he wrapped up his final report to the commission as head of the OSBI, Stan Florence was asked a question. In our report, it indicates we're still running about 65 vacant positions. Uh, is that primarily due to our budget lost revenues and our budget that we're having to maintain that level? Yeah. Florence indicated only about 30 of the 65 empty slots at the state's top investigative agency were frozen due to budget conditions from the state's recent years of financial crisis. However, records obtained by Fox 25 show that Florence approved more than $80,000 worth of salary increases and promotions to top-level employees in the final weeks or even days before the submission of his letter of resignation. Sir, I had a question about some of the raises that you've uh, kind of put forward during the last few days. Is that appropriate during this time? In a memo highlighting more than $40,000 worth of raises to two attorneys, Florence said the attorney's workload had nearly doubled. That memo detailed the promotion of the general counsel to an assistant director position while keeping him as the agency's lead attorney. Another raise went to the public information officer after she had announced her resignation. Documents provided by the OSBI show some of the larger raises were signed off on by the governor's public safety cabinet secretary. An executive order issued by the governor in 2015 required that oversight. For his part, Florence will likely receive a reduction in pay as he moves from director to his previous position of special agent in charge with a salary of $85,000 a year. The OSBI Commission also reviewed the report prepared by the Attorney General's Office regarding complaints by the employees about Florence's administration. Commissioners were briefed by Attorney General Mike Hunter, who had also paid a visit to Florence just days before he submitted his resignation. I think all involved here made good decisions, against, again, based on what's in the best interest of the agency in the state. For now, commissioners approved former FBI special agent in charge and former DPS commissioner Bob Ricks to head up the agency until a permanent director can be found. Phil Cross, Fox 25 News. Now, Bob Ricks, who is the new interim director for the OSBI, retired just last February as the police chief for Edmond. He's going to be making the same salary as Florence did as director, which was more than $127,000 a 